Crossing. Do it. Do it. Crossing. Crossing. It's Margaret Robbie. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Want my advice? Not really. Just end it. Hey! I'll set them on my mother like starving rats in a cage and you can watch through the bars. Catering's not quite as good. No. <laughs> um, much harder to get a macchiato at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I think, uh, that, again, it's just, well, I, I, I'll take it first. The, for me, it's just, it's just, it feels like more of a, an intensive process. It's more of a kind of uh, concentrated group of people, a smaller group of people who are all working towards the same end. It's a lot more intimate and as such you kind of feel like you're all working towards the same end. On a bigger film it's such an expanse of people and you might not even meet certain people that are on the crew, let alone you know in the, about behind the scenes. I like that kind of, that sort of um, familial kind of tight us against the world thing. Kind of in the trenches. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. It's great. Yeah. I mean, I, I totally agree. I, uh, you know, I would, I've loved working on huge films. It's, it's an honour, it's an amazing place to be, but there is a, an intimacy and a, a sort of cold face mentality when you're all there and, you, you know, 12 hour night shoots over 27 days shooting, you know, seven pages in the morning, you know, thanks to the brilliance of, of Simon and Margot and, and Dexter and Max and Mike. And, you know, it, and it, was, it was just a, a great place to work and we had to be very precise. Like we didn't have a lot of time, we didn't have a great deal of money, and you know we we prepped as immaculately as hard as we could so that we could maximise those shoot days. And Ad taught me that the best mm. the best directors I've had the pleasure of working with are you know they, they know the answer to everything or they can make it up really quickly, mm -hmm. um, but they leave room for those like moments of inspiration, which is is where like those those where the brilliance comes from. And you know having having people like Simon mm -hmm. and Margs and. It's, it's an honour. I mean, it's, it was an amazing, amazing experience. And I, I'm very glad I, I served my time as an AD because it was, it was hugely important to me and gave me a lot of confidence. Um, I, think, I mean, visually, sort of in terms of aesthetic, Blade Runner was a, was a huge influence on us. But Chris Ross, the cinematographer, Richard, myself, we, we loved it. We, had, you know, we love it as a film. And um, we, things like um, Winding Reference Drive and Only God Forgives, we love that sort of neon drenched night where. There oh, you I go. Had, I had to drop it. We, we love the idea of the sort of neon You like bar saying that? Yeah. Neon drenched I came nightmare. up with it yesterday. It sort of fits nicely. <laughs> I had um, one last night. <laughs> um, I've lost my train of thought. Yes, uh, so it was... <laughs> it was um, yeah, that was a big influence. Uh, Gilliam's Brazil was a big influence. Um, one of the first books I ever loved was 1984, mm -hmm. I think. We really wanted to give it that weird sort of, you know, post-apocalyptic dystopia feel, but just... just just that you can just sort of feel it on the periphery and it informs and influences the story but it's not beholden to it. I love Wong Kar Wai and Tarantino and I love what they do with that sort of modern take on, on a kind of you know, eccentric noir and yeah, they were, they were big influences. Bang.